Welcome to This Week at Little Hills. This past few weeks, Pastor Tim and us, we've been going through the um, New City Catechism. And now we're on week number five. And it's been such a great time as we've been going through this. And we've been reviewing it on Express Sunday School, which runs right after our 530 evening service. We have about a 15 minute break and then we have Express Sunday School, where we discuss the questions. This week we're gonna discuss the question number five which says, what else did God create? We, we, all, we discussed last week, why did God create us, man, male and female? This week, we know that God created more than just male and female. We're gonna discuss what all the things that God created. And we can find all that, of course, you know, in Genesis chapter one, but I'm gonna just go right towards the end of that for, for time's sake. And um, Genesis 1, 20, one, I'm sorry, Genesis 1, Verse 31, God saw all that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. So all before those other days, God created animals, plants, trees, sceneries, everything we see in the background. You know, I don't have any animals running around, but all, everything, either the sky, the air, everything that we breathe. And just to make confirm, even Paul says that in his letter back here in um. 1 Corinthians 8, 6, which we find here. 1 Corinthians 8, 6. Yet for us there is but one God, the Father, from whom all things, and we exist for him, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, by whom all things, and we exist through him. So if we break that down, the Father, from whom all things exist, we exist for him. We're ex our, everything exists for Christ and nothing else. Not for ourselves or anything else. That's what it means by dying to Christ. But everything exists for him. In all things, in, in, at the end it says, In the Lord Jesus Christ, by whom all things, we exist through him. So through Christ, everything exists. So everything is through Christ. And we go back towards the end in Colossians, another letter of Paul's. Colossians um, 1, where'd it go? Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. Come on. There we go. Ha ha. <laughs> it's not very often you get out the old Bible and read it in the wind. But Colossians 1 8. I'm sorry, Colossians 16 1 through 7 says this. One page over. There we go. For by him all things were created, both in heavens and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is a head of the body of head of the body, the church, and he is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he himself will come to have first place in everything. So Christ is, this is all his creation. So he should have first place. When somebody creates something, they get to see it first. They get to handle it first. So we're all here for Christ. So come Sunday night, um, 5.30 is our church service. And afterwards, we've got a 15-minute break. And then we do our Express Sunday School. It'd be really exciting to have you there. You can come online. And we do answer questions and have a discussion. And we're going over question five. What else did God create? Thank you for listening. And um, hope to see you soon. God bless.